Greetings from Boston. I hope everyone is doing wonderfully. I want to get right into this match between Roger Federer and Dennis Kudla, the semifinal at the Holly Open that went forward very early this morning. I slept through it, but I did watch the replay. There's a lot of controversy about this match in terms of what it says about Roger's form and his chances to win this title, but especially his chances to win Wimbledon, and there are some very dire assessments. Well, to save you the suspense, I think these dire assessments are not merited. I don't think it's that bad. I think Roger actually improved a bit in the match today relative to the match yesterday. Part of why the Fed fans are feeling upset is because the Fed fans tend to live vicariously through Roger. They saw that he was upset today. They saw that he was frustrated. The fans, in other words, believe that Roger's performance was bad because Roger himself apparently believed, at least during the course of the match, that his performance was bad. Well, let's look at this match. It was a straight set victory for Federer, 7-6, 7-5. In the first set, after an exchange of breaks, Federer really just rolled through the set and right into the tiebreaker. And let me tell you, he crushed the poor Kudla in this tiebreaker, 7-1. No problems so far. In the second set, however, Fed got frustrated. There were some flashes of brilliance to be sure. And in the eighth game, he went down love 40 on his own serve, but came back beautifully. He looked like a cat out there, totally committed. Then he broke in game 11 to go up 6-5 and took the match by holding his serve. Federer wasn't getting angry on his own serve because he was doing okay on his own serve. He was getting frustrated with himself for not breaking Kudla in the second set. And I think that was a lot to ask, especially on the grass. Listen, there is a bright side to everything that happened today and that has been happening at Halle. First, Roger is performing swimmingly in the clutch situations, even if he's unnecessarily creating some situations that require clutch tennis, but especially in the tie breaks, he's looking very good. Remember, he's had 16 tie breaks at Halle and he has won 15 of those tie breaks. The second point is that Federer looks good. He's lean and mean. He's lost some weight, and I want to return to this point in a few minutes. The third point is that this is the first time in Roger Federer's career that he's reached finals in back-to-back -back grass tournaments. Now, that's something. Listen, a win is a win. It was a straight-set win, folks. Who cares whether it went to a tiebreaker? Federer crushed in the tiebreaker. The master of grass is the master of the tiebreak, and Federer is showing no signs of letting up with respect to his ferocity in the tie breaks. Let me remind you, to win his eight Wimbledon titles, Federer had to play 41 tie breaks, of which he won 31 of those tie breaks. Rafa has played less than half that many tie breaks to win his 11 French Open titles. This is probably going to rub the Nadal fans the wrong way, but I think this supports an argument that Federer's eight Wimbledon titles are actually more impressive in terms of clutch tennis than Rafa's 11 French Open titles. A fourth point is that we actually don't want Roger to be 100% yet. We really don't. We want him to take his 99th at Halle, but we don't want him at 100%. We want him to save the best for Wimbledon, and he is, folks, going to save the best for Wimbledon. So why was Federer making so many errors? I wanted to mention a couple of viewer comments. Dennis Daly made a very insightful comment with respect to Roger's weight. He looks like he's losing weight, as I said before. Well, I think they've got him on a diet. That could lead to fatigue. I think Roger enjoys eating, but he's not eating what he wants to these days. He's having to trim down, and that ultimately is a good thing. We want him lean and mean for Wimbledon. Another factor causing the fatigue, however, is the fact that he's playing these back-to-back -back tournaments. This was something noted by a commenter, James Blake and Daniel Paez. 
Well, the back-to-back -back tournaments are hard on this 36-year-old. And it's all the more difficult because he is the champion. He won at Stuttgart. He's going to win at Halle. Being a champion is a great burden. Roger has to work much harder than the average player, much harder than the player who's striking out in, say, the round of 16 or the quarterfinals. The burden of a champion is immense, folks, but he is carrying it. And why was Federer so grumpy? Hitting the balls out into the crowd and uncharacteristically receiving a code violation? Well, he was getting impatient with his lesser opponent, I think. He wanted to break Kudla in one of those first games in the second set, and he just couldn't break Kudla. That's why he was getting impatient. Not because he wasn't serving well, not because he wasn't playing well, but he just couldn't break Kudla on the grass. And like I said before, I think that was an unreasonable standard to place on himself. As as he himself said after the match, he expects the tiebreakers. So you should expect the tiebreakers, Raj. You should expect the final tomorrow against Chorich to go to the breakers. And you know what? That's not a bad thing because no one wants to be in a breaker with Roger Federer. He will win the breakers. So Roger, just bide your time. Get to the breaker. Protect your serve. Protect, protect, protect. That's the one problem with the match today is that Kudla did break Federer's serve. But he only broke Federer's serve once. That is one reason why today's match was a bit of an improvement over his previous matches. Well, as I suggested before, Chorich is through to the final, but not due to his superior play today. In fact, Bautista Agut appeared to be wiping Chorich off the court before he slipped and had to retire from the match. So Chorich will be well rested. What does Federer need to do against Chorich tomorrow? He needs to protect his serve. That's all he should be concerned about. Chorich is not a great server. Federer needs to bide his time, be patient, and try to find some inroads into Chorich's serve. But don't get frustrated if you can't break Chorich, Roger. Take him to the tie break. You will win in those tie breaks. We've seen you do it over and over and over again. That is why you are the master of grass, and that is part of why you are the greatest tennis player of all time. Over at Queens Club, Marin Cilic came through Nick Kyrgios in a close match. It went to two breakers, but you know what? Cilic deserves this. He's very good on grass. So he is into the final at Queens Club. He will be facing Novak Djokovic, who prevailed over Jeremy Chardy fairly decisively as well today. That's going to be an interesting final. Djokovic leads in the head-to-head 14-1. -to -head They've played twice on grass, both at Wimbledon. Djokovic has won both of those matches. One went to five sets. One was a straight set win for Djokovic. I give Chilich the slight edge here, but if Djokovic can come through, that's going to be exciting. That's going to be inspiring. And that is going to make Wimbledon a lot more fun to watch. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Drop a comment about today's match and about Roger's condition overall. I'll look forward to talking with you soon. Signing off from Boston.